All right, I'm in the process of installing my uh, Gen 2 Starlink dishy, if you will, and uh, you know, I waited a couple of months to get this thing, and in that process, I was kind of reading forums and Reddit, you know, threads and so forth, and a lot of people didn't like the Starlink mounts, so I went looking for an alternative, and I think I found one that's going to be pretty good here. It's a Proxicast, and it's a J, it's a J mount, they have different lengths, this one is stainless steel, and this mount costs less than what the uh, the mounts cost on Starlink, and I think it's a better quality. Um, I say that, but I don't really know because I've never seen a Starlink mount. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be able to use the uh, the quick release here. Um, I put a couple of wraps of electrical tape. It is the correct diameter, but there was just a little bit of slop, and I didn't like that. Uh, and I'm going to use a couple of these three-quarter inch tech screws with the neoprene washers. Um, and even, even as it is, it's not going to puncture. It's not going to go in far enough to puncture the cable, okay? But uh, what I'm going to do is get my tripod here and, um, you know, finish this part of it up. And then maybe I'll finish out the video when I actually get it mounted and hooked up. I've had it sitting out on my four-wheeler for a couple of days now. And it works great, but I want to get it mounted, okay? And, I, I've, of course, I've got a link to this mount down below. And... Uh, Check out the reviews, but, you know, I think this is going to be a great alternative to the Starlink mount. So, all right, let me grab my tripod. All right, so obviously I've already fed the uh, the uh, cable through the J-mount. I've got it plugged in, and again, I wrapped a couple of uh, wraps of electrical tape around here just to, um, just to take up a little bit of slop. I've pre-drilled a couple of holes, and I verified that the screws wouldn't uh, puncture the cable or hit it in any way. Now, incidentally, if you didn't want to use tech screws, you could have this cable external from the J-mount or whatever you're mounting it on. You could have this on the outside, and you could drill a hole um, completely through if you wanted to. Um, you know, and if you were concerned that, you know, that these weren't going to hold or whatever, you could drill um, a hole and put a bolt with uh, some with like a lock a lock nut all the way through it. Okay. I'm not really that worried about it. I think these are going to hold fine. So that's what we're going to do. The other thing I might do, just because uh, to reduce the chance of water infiltration, because this is going to remain compressed, I'll probably wrap electrical tape or something around that as well. Uh, again, I'm not too worried about it, um, but the uh, connection is up beyond here. But just the idea of, of leaving that compressed, they probably have a rubber seal or something on the back side that is supposed to keep water out. Okay. Again, I pre-drilled these. Okay, I'm going to get the other one started before I tighten it down. Okay, so I saw the uh, neoprene washer flatten out nice, so I know it's in there really tight. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so the, again, the only thing I'll do here is I'll probably just wrap electrical tape around here just to reduce the possibility of uh, water infiltration there. Uh, but then we're going to get it mounted on the house, and I'll probably show you that when it's done. Shooting that up on the ladder is going to be tough, but uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, we're done. 
I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I was able to get three lag bolts in. It's up there uh, sturdy. I was able to hide the cable real well. I don't even think you can see it. Maybe in the corners, that'd be about it. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good alternative to the Starlink mount. It gets me up above the roof, and uh, I'm quite certain I'm clearing the peak. I don't think it's going to cut that far north. Uh, if you want to check out this mount, I've got a link to it down below. And if you've got questions or comments, please leave those down below as well. I'm gonna, probably going to post more Starlink videos as I learn more about the system. Uh, it's brand new to me. Um, and if you've got some tips or tricks about your Starlink, leave those down below as well. If you're not a subscriber and you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself. Bye now.